Hello everyone. We are at the Aeronautical Development Establishment in Bangalore. We are going to take you to the actuator facility. A very, very critical uh, segment of AD, of LCA project. Something we are all very proud of. Uh, a very critical component now that we have mastered it. Let's go to that facility and meet some heroes. We are at now the uh, Flight Control Actuators Laboratory, the development center, a very, very critical uh, part of the LCA development program. As most of you know, actuators are, the, you know, it's a denied technology, uh, you know, like so it is a lot of effort gone over the years to, to build it, uh, you know, in-house. And we are very proud that, you know, our scientists have uh, done much, much uh, better job now in terms of developing generation next actuators. So, Dr. Kota, we, uh, uh, this is something which is very much integral part of the FCS. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, you have two of your friends here. Yeah. yeah so, if you could introduce them. Uh, this is Girish. Okay. And this is Nagesh. He is the man who handles the complete laboratory here. The importance here is, this is a high precision, high technology actuators which are vital for an agile fighter. Okay, LCI is a very, very agile fighter. And uh, even the normal, uh, what you call, servo valves are not good enough for its primary controls. You need special, what you call, servo valves to that. So, this team has worked very closely with uh, two of our major uh, development centers, one at Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, another at RCI Hyderabad, okay? They continue to work closely with them, uh, they are part of them. So, these, not only the servo valves were developed and the actuators were developed, they have also identified the industry right from the word go. Okay, so the industry works very closely with them and uh, what they have realized now, already it is getting tested in the aircraft and uh, I think the results are good. Yes. Huh? Am I right in my statement? Yes, yes. Okay, so let me now spend a little more time with our heroes here. <laughs> I am looking forward to, you are already testing the leading uh, actuators. I uh, have been told you have already done quite a few flights. And I understand the results are good. Extremely so, good. So, um, we are now looking forward to the back end, uh, yes. <laughs> back yeah. end actuators. Yeah. Yeah. If I understand correctly, you also tested your uh, air brakes yes. actuators. Okay. So, once you test the rear one, the complete set has been test, uh, tested and it will be ready. Okay. Let me ask uh, Nagesh this question. One is you have developed. Uh, uh, the actuators, servo actuators, valves, machine, all the critical technologies that required with two of our partners. And you also industrialized it, brought to a level where not just one of, we will have a supply coming for all that. But we are also having uh, new variants of LCA. Uh, you have LCA Mark 1, you have LCA Mark 2, you have got AMCA, you have the sixth generation aircraft, many other programs. We are also looking at uh, uh, transport aircraft. So, how do you feel, how, how ready we are uh, in terms of uh, servo actuator uh, development technologies to meet this kind of present and future requirements? Uh, we started off our program with the development of the uh, actuators for the LCA program. And uh, as we have done it from the ab initio development, right from, in fact, uh, I was recruited uh, during those times, even writing the standards, writing the specifications and uh, designing it on the um, uh, drawing boards that time, because those times computers were not there. So, then translating all those things into CAD models, geometry and eventually realizing those parts, assembling those parts, we have gained complete hands-on uh, experience right from start to the end, where we are today talking about integrating and even certification and even also productionizing this. So, having done this technology, today it is only you now the, the uh, tailoring the requirements to any other platform. So, uh, as you know, the AMCA is a evolving program. In that, uh, the flight mechanics requirements have been given to us in terms of the, the actuator requirements. Those requirements have been already taken and then we have already configured the actuators for AMCA 
and was what you see as, as you go along we can show you the actuators which Actuator. are there also on the what is an actuator for an eight standard student what he or she will understand fine so i will just answer that you know the aircraft when it flies there are something called control surfaces earlier control surfaces they used to deflect using the muscle power as the speed of the aircraft and size of the aircraft increased that muscle power became very very insufficient so something like hydraulic power came there okay so now this actuator is nothing but replacement of the muscle power so it is a uh, device which gives power required to deflect the control surfaces and uh, one thing i would like to tell you here if somebody ask what is great about lca i can say flight control system digital flight control system is one of the very great things in lca and that digital flight control system has got three fundamental uh, blocks one is sensor second one is the computer and third one is the actuator computer and all you have already seen the actuator this is the one which gives power to deflect the control surfaces and today if you see the state of the art what actuators we have elsewhere all over the world is direct drive wall technology and ehsv is one more thing direct drive wall technology we have got capability 100% capability to from scratch to design if you give the requirement say 10 ton we can design 12 ton we can design design manufacture test and get the certification and fly in aircraft that is the technology we have got we started with nothing actually sir knows lca in lca greater risk what they took is that time in 1986 87 nobody knew what is fly by wire that was the state what is fly by wire but uh, people like kota they took without knowing what is fly by wire they told i will build aircraft with fly by wire technology so uh, let me ask you nagesh sir uh, when it comes to world class actuators now that you know you people have mastered the technology uh, where do we stand in the actuator on the actuator front when compared to some of the best in the world are we there or we, we need to some more catching up see today if you ask me as we talked about the technology what we have built is the current state of the art where the current generation aircrafts are flying with this kind of technology and as we have done the development as an abinishu development i think we are in uh, top two countries i would say all right to now take this kind of a risk in development and then achieving the milestone what so which is the other country as we know united states has been the other country, the, the other country. The core technology we have got mm -hmm. it is now today what we are doing is scaling up i have done for 10 ton now i can do for 16 ton can, 20 ton whatever is the requirement it is that scale up but yeah. core technology but we have know, mastered in, uh, today technology front uh, uh, we have mastered you have to run to stay where you are yeah. yes. so you have to continue to run correct uh, that is yes. important yes. i am sure the team is running so now guys show your uh, temple <laughs> <laughs> sir sir today in this laboratory whatever are available mm. are there for our complete development uh, of the system from the scratch mm. so what we have characterized here are the rigs which are specifically required mm. for doing the development activity Active. not from the production person production. The development so, lab development lab mm. so all the specific rigs mm. which are required be in terms of characterization of the miniature components mm. to the complete system mm. we have taken it as a um, uh, test cases mm. and then we have worked with the various um, uh, testing manufacturers mm. be it inter indian or even international and then we have tried to build the standards which are meeting the airworthiness requirements and also to meet the certification certificate both of them we have taken care yes. okay but you have a lot of uh, Uh, yeah like yeah this yeah. is something called endurance facility all facilities are there in okay. single roof so it's a fairly complex system this yes. endurance test rig yes so and they are, are using it to prove the life of the aircraft yeah uh, like of the actuator, actuator. Yes. yeah mm -hmm. sir in this endurance test rig whatever is there i am recreating the complete scenario where this actuator is installed on the aircraft be it it may be the control surface loading be it inter it may be the aerodynamic uh, the interactions which take place the structural interactions of the aircraft and the control surface inertia everything will be there on the the, the rig and then we ask the actuation system to do, hold the position where it is intended to do and then this i do it for the endurance uh, of the each of the actuator. each of the actuator when our new actuator is developed we go through yes, so course. i want to just ask you for the new programs like mark 1a mark 2 amkov course you spoke so all those 
bigger platforms need different kind of actuators. So this is a lab where eventually exactly. the actuators exactly. and it will come from nowhere else. It will come from here. From yeah. here. Only. Whatever be the program. Yes. Mm -hmm. all, even yes. for the unmanned systems, everything. Uh -huh. Yes. All, right. all actually. And how big is your team? See, <laughs> <laughs> we are okay. handful of people. Handful of people. And uh, highly self-motivated individuals. Yeah, it is quite, uh, <laughs> you know, for the first time I am seeing so many quotes in, all over the place. <laughs> so, you know, the motivation levels are really, yeah. really... No, it's a small team, but a very effective team. And, uh, I, I would put it like this, that it was a pure passion by which we have been driven. So I think, and even uh, my team. I think LC itself is a passion story, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, a group of mad people who believed in themselves yes, and came yes, together. Yes. Uh -huh. All right, so you have uh, to be a little bit mad to do these things. Yes, yes. yeah. So remember, what I said. Proved also. <laughs> successfully proved also. Yeah. Okay. So, even, so, but eventually, I think madness will take you to success, ah, right? Without right. right. madness, that is, nothing that is, will happen. That is, that is, yeah. Right. So remember what Dr. Kota said. Now, <laughs> without madness, nothing will happen. <laughs> and in fact, uh, I would like to say that this lab. Uh, we, it is built by the effort of all my team members and uh, they are the, the actually the stakeholders of the whole thing. Yeah, we are going to uh, see some of those unsung heroes behind. Uh, they are all here. So, we will uh, definitely get to see them uh, in a while. So, sir, uh, here uh, some more test facilities. This mimic the aircraft hydraulic system on ground. So, we have specifically built it for our test track requirements. And here we characterize all the developed actuators completely putting it into the various tests and uh, each actuator once it clears then only we move Go it into the next, next phase. Yeah. And, and these, these are, are some all uh, generic facilities we can use for any type of actuator. So, mm -hmm. all our future programs and all we can develop actuators here only. Okay. Sir, this is beyond the thing what, uh, what we were mentioning. Mm -hmm. This is an actuator tester mm -hmm. which on aircraft if it is having some issue I can just plug in this device and then check whether it has got problem, we should remove it from the aircraft or connect it back or is it because specifically of the actuator? It's a diagnosis tool. Diagnostic yes, tool. <laughs> to that extent, we have now we got have been able to do this. So, our turnaround time will come down. Turn Quickly, we will be able to find what is the problem and get the aircraft ready for the yes. next sortie. Yes. And we isolate the problem. If the problem is with actuator, I can just change the actuator. Change the actuator. Okay. So, similarly, we have some more facilities which I would like to tell. This is the burst pressure rig where I check the actuator because being a structural member, I have to see the susceptibility of this for 2.5 times of its the working pressure. So, this I do it here to see the structural failure things like that. And uh, this is one more test uh, rig where in which I do a high temperature fluid to the actuation system to see the vulnerability of the elect internal electronics, internal the, the temperature effects on the actuation system and see the susceptibility here. And what I mean to say in gist, that the any actuator what is built will undergo the various environments under which it is operated in air and that is being characterized in this lab. And <laughs> here we have a set of unsung heroes. Yeah. Uh, so, these are my team members who have been passionately working and uh, they, as I told uh, this is with pure passion this is completely driven and they are all the verticals of each of the aircraft programs. Each one of them are handling the actuation systems. Under them, the whole aircraft system, flight control actuators are being developed. So, these are the superheroes and look at what is behind. If you can see a photograph, we believe we can. So, summarize the LCA story, Dr. Kota. It is the belief of such bunch of people in different, different labs. Yes, we can probably eventually that uh, came in the form of Tejas. You see, just not that uh, they have built uh, an aircraft. They build the technology that is required for an aircraft and they are continuously upgrading the technology, thereby they are capable of meeting the future requirement. I thought that is a very, very important what you call contribution from the LCA program to the national strength and national wealth generation. I would consider these are the two key elements and that is what drives the whole team to move forward. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much and we are all very proud of you. Now for the all important Tejas update. Okay. Some very uh, technological stuff. So, I have to look and read. So, this is all, these are all updates linked to the flight control system and advanced version. So, the limited uh, series production LCA, you know, as all of you know, has almost completed 10,000 hours of flight on LSP and SP aircraft. 
using the DFCC, that is the Digital Flight Control uh, Computer Mark I, and the air data computers that is built by ADE. The onboard flight program software updates for fighter and trainer builds for weaponization and other features like air to air refueling are a continuous process. So that's happening. Some of the indigenous actuators, a very key element, those have been flight tested. And also, uh, you know, for the next version of MK 1A, uh, uh, the DFCC, all those things are getting flight tested. The FOC standard build LCA using Mark 1. DFCC and the ADC that is an air data computer planned for initial set around 40 uh, will be delivered for the Mark 1A. Then the Mark 1A DFCC and ADC planned for second set of LCA deliveries to the user along with other indigenous actuators. So these are some of the updates uh, from this uh, FCS department linked to uh, the Tejas program. I hope you guys enjoyed this special edition from the ADE facility, the flight control system facility here in Bangalore. Thank you. Jai Hind.